everyone welcome back to my channel so today i will be sharing these six wonderful polishes with you this is from a brand called twinkle tea they also sell like nail art items nail decals um wider range of things and when i recently checked i just found out they sell gel polishes as well so i'll definitely be getting some of those in the near future and reviewing them for you guys as well so these six polishes are part of their first um, stamping collection that I bought way back when which is called the essentials and not only are they stamping polishes they can be used as regular polishes as well so if you'd like to see more in regards to my thoughts and review let's get started so the first polish I'll be sharing with you from the twinkle tea essential stamp polish collection is called can't even so these didn't come with labels when i first ordered them and i ordered them a while ago like a long time ago so i just made my own labels by going on their website and like um getting the names of all the polishes and yeah just use my label maker to create my own labels and stick them on the back of them that that applied as nicely as it did seeing as I've had these for god knows how long and I haven't shared them yet but um this is a lovely pink it is a bit streaky though and these polishes can be used as regular nail polishes and stamping polishes as well so I'm going to show them to you as obviously what it looks like if you were to wear it as a regular polish and then stamped over black <laughs> And here is Can't Even in Too Thin Coat. So as you can see, it's very versatile. You can use it as a stamping, regular polish. And this one for a pink, you only need two coats, which is really, really good. I am finding that it is a bit streaky as well, but hopefully it'll self-level. And the stamping plate that I'll be using is this one from You Are Beautiful, number 15. And as you can see, it's got a lot of like love and wedding designs and stuff. But I'm going to use it just to test it out with these stamping polishes. And I'm going to go in with this lace image right here. See, it transferred very nicely picked up the image really well also i might have to just go in and add some more because obviously the image wasn't larger like it's a larger image but my oh sorry my stamper wasn't big enough to like cover the entirety of the nail and this is can't even over white this is a really nice stamping polish guys and here we have can't even over black and here is can't even against my skin tone a beautiful girly barbie pink and um off camera i did apply top coats to all of these so as you can see the top coat really helped to make this self level it is very pretty and a delicate pink the second polish that i have to share is called glow up and obviously it is the white in the collection and everyone knows black and white is like a staple especially when stamping i actually used this so many times prior to me getting my clear jelly stamper uh, white stamping polish and it was like my goal too Here we have glow up in the first coat even though i've had this for quite some time and i've been using it um like i said a lot before still actually applied really nicely and here is glow up with the second coat so as you can see the second coat really helped to make itself level better and give it more opacity And here is glow up over black obviously i'm not going to stamp it over white because it is a white stamping polish but still a really good white stamping polish at that too this is glow up against my skin tone very vibrant white like i feel like this white is really bright <laughs> i don't know if it's just me but it just seems very white um very bright sorry and again top coat helped to self level everything absolutely beautiful and you can see how opaque it is because 
the tip over here you cannot see um, my nail and the next polish I'll be sharing is called lit and this is the red in the collection it looks like a very like deep red actually this red guys and this is one coat like this one i would consider a one coater but because i usually do two i'm gonna go in with a second coat but definitely can get away with just one with this this is stunning what lit looks like stamped over white it's very very pigmented i love that i had to go in and try and double stamp and i don't think i lined it up properly so that's totally my fault but yeah i picked up the image very nicely and it's very pigmented and here is lit over black as you can see because it is a darker red it's and even though it's really pigmented it still shows it gives like that gothy halloween dark valentine vibe this is lit against my skin tone honestly I love this red. I have no complaints about this red. It is so beautiful and I love deep vampy reds like this. Like this is great for Christmas and quite frankly it would just be great any time of the year. It is so stunning. Only three more polishes to go guys. So this one is called Low Key and as you can tell it's a silver. Looks like a metallic -y silver at that too. This is a beauty. Definitely a one coater. I'm not even gonna go in with a second coat because that applied beautifully. And with metallics like this, like yes, you will get like a little bit of the streakiness. That's just what happened. But wow, I'm very impressed with this one, guys. Key stamped over white. It is picking up a really bad glare from my light, but I'm hoping you guys can see it. And here is what low key looks like over black. So while yes, there's still a glare, it's not as bad as with um, how it was over white. But as you can see, like it definitely does have that metallic silver finish to it. It's really nice too. And this is low key against my skin tone. Again, you can see how extremely pigmented these polishes are because you can't even see my nail design here like unless I go like this obviously but through the tip you can't see it and again can't go wrong with the silver gray any time of the year and I think like staple uh I think that colors like black white silver gold are staples in your collection and the second last polish I have to share with you is this beautiful gold so this is called so extra it's so funny because I've said that plenty of times to people to my child so I actually find that hilarious and just like you had the silver this is the gold Look at how beautiful this is and this is one coat so just like the silver i'm gonna leave it at one coat because it is very pigmented and extremely opaque and it is just absolutely stunning Here we 
we have so extra again it's picking up like a glare from my light sorry guys but yes as you can see it's still very pigmented as well and here we have so extra over black like isn't this so beautiful guys i love gold so i mean i have no complaints Ugh, and this is so extra against my skin tone guys tell me about it like i love it i have no complaints it is so stunning can't go wrong with a gold especially one like this and is a stamping polish too amazing and last but not least we have the black of the collection and this is called vibin again i used to use this black a lot as well vibin this is really great like really nice black one coater i'm not gonna go in with a second coat because it was really opaque and very smooth and here is vibin over white wonderful black stamping polish very pigmented of course again not going to show you this over black because it is a black stamping polish <laughs> and last but not least we have vibin against my skin tone so just your basic black you know great great formula smooth very opaque with one coat and i love a black where you can only like you only need one coat and you don't have to go in with more than one like those are my favorite i love any polish really and truly that's a one coat it just makes life easier but this is a great polish for regular polish as well as stamping and here we have it guys for the Twinkle Tea Essential Stamping Polish Collection. So let me know what do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Honestly, I have no complaints. Like they're really great. The formula is good. Application was smooth, very opaque. Um, the only two that I found that I had to go in with a second coat was Can't Even and Glow Up. Pinks can be a bit troublesome, whites definitely can be troublesome, but everything else was absolutely fantastic. And they actually have more stamping polishes and collections on their website, and I actually have two more of their stamping polish collections I had purchased way back when to share with you guys, so keep an eye out for that. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning into my video. Please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do hit the new subscribe and notification bell so you'll be notified when i post more content and i will make sure to have everything listed down below for you as always guys stay glamorous